it's cold on the wall. That's the first thing everybody tells you and the first thing you notice when you're sent there. And it's the thing you think about all the time when you're on it. And it's the thing you remember when you're not there anymore. It's cold on the wall. The premise is, I wouldn't say it's the future, I'd say it's a future, a version of the possible future in which a lot of current trends are scrolled forwards, the, the main ones being about climate, about um, unchecked climate change um, carrying on in the way that we already know it is, and the other one being that tendency to walls and fortifications and borders and division between nations, and, and the premise is, is a world in which um, climate change has so impacted the UK that there's um, what I call in the book a wall, though in terms of geoengineering it's actually a polder, it's a thing that keeps keeps the water out and also keeps the people out and the UK is a kind of fortress state. It's frightening but in its way it's also a little bit freeing. No choice. Everything about the wall means you have no choice. I suppose the walls are inevitably seen as symbolic, um, but actually one of the things I wanted to get across in the book is that to people who, whose job it is to guard them, actually symbolic is the very last thing they are, you know, that they are actually, um, their primary function is completely practical. The lorry drops you off. You and your rucksack are left standing there in the cold and the darkness. When you stand underneath it, it feels as if it overhangs, as if it could topple over onto you. You feel leaned on. I didn't find it difficult um, writing about a, an imagined or projected future place. I actually, I like that about it. Um, I suppose because, you know, because of that thing, I like writing about character and I see the place, um, the place as a kind of person. And it was um, interesting to inhabit a, a place that didn't exist. I, um, I, uh, I actually like that. For the first time that day, I grew anxious. Not about fatigue or cold, or whether I would get through it, but about the others. It was not difficult to imagine a black-clad figure hopping silently over the wall, knife in its hand, murder in its eyes, nothing to lose. No warning, no mercy. You know, the books that have the biggest impact um, are the ones that just change your perception. And that, and that was a thing that I had in mind, um, I suppose, about different things and in different ways. Um, I'd be happy if people see the world slightly differently after reading it.